Hey guys, welcome back. So if you are new around here, my name is Sarah and I am the homeschool mom of five kids. Here on our channel, we post our grocery hauls with you guys about every month or so. And today I wanted to share with you all about our Stocktober Walmart haul. Have you ever heard of Stocktober before? Well, stick around to find out more. So have you ever heard of Stocktober before? It's a play on words, stock up and October. This idea I believe actually originated with Jordan Page from funcheaperfree.com. She has a YouTube channel where she shares a lot of videos and I, I definitely am a freeb as she would call it, just someone who follows her channel. I will make sure to link all of her information down below. So the idea behind Stocktober is to take half of your grocery budget for the month and use it for things that you're not going to use in October, but instead to use it to stock up on things in your pantry, your freezer, household goods, things like that. Now, as a mom of five feeding a family of seven, I like to have a very well stocked pantry. I have an extra deep freezer and an extra refrigerator, and I like to make sure that we have things, you know, pretty full most of the time. So the idea of Stocktober is definitely up my alley. And although I did not dedicate an entire half of our grocery budget, I did decide to take a good portion of our grocery budget this month and put it towards stocking up. Now, I know that a lot of times I share with you guys a monthly Costco haul, but this time around I decided to do a Walmart pickup order. And I did this for a couple of reasons. Number one, I was looking for a large variety of items and not necessarily necessarily a large quantity of items. I wanted to be able to get lots of different things, like over a hundred different items, but I didn't necessarily want them in bulk. Another reason that I chose Walmart was honestly because of the budget. I am putting $300 of our grocery budget to Stocktober, and I really wanted to stick to that budget and not go over. Shopping online really helps with that because as you're shopping, you can watch your cart, your total at checkout go up. And so I knew when I was getting close to that $300 range and I was able to take things in and out of my cart accordingly. So shopping online definitely helped me to stay exactly on my budget. The other reason I chose to do Walmart pickup was because I knew that I was going to be purchasing a lot of canned goods and a lot of just like heavy items and and selfishly, I did not want to have to shop and load all of it into the cart and out of the cart at the cashier and then all of it into the trunk and then all of it out of the trunk again when we got home. Using the free Walmart pickup just kind of helps skip some of those steps. Now, before we get into the haul, full disclosure, I did go ahead and purchase some other items while I was doing the Walmart order that were things we were going to need for the month of October. Just some milk and produce and a few things we needed this week from our grocery store. But I actually purchased that separately from the $300 Stocktober. I probably spent almost another $100 in groceries. So I will show you both, but I will separate the two orders out, the one that's just our normal grocery groceries and then the Stocktober. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump in and see what I purchased. So to start out the haul, I am going to show you all the items I have over here on the table. These are all part of what I would consider my Stocktober groceries. First on the list is just some LaCroix. They're Raz cranberry and the lime and also a 12 pack of coke next i just have household items i picked up three of these spray bottles i buy some of our cleaning base in bulk and so i will use these just to put the concentrate in and add water and stash these in the different bathrooms and things around the house that i can refill on a regular basis i also just picked up one of these clorox bleach cleaners because you know bathrooms Justin needed some shaving supplies, so I picked him up just a double pack of shaving cream as well as some of his aftershave gel that he likes. And then with five kids, we never have enough band-aids in the house, so I just picked up another package of these just to stash away for all of those little falls and tumbles that happen with toddlers. I picked up two packages of our favorite type of toothpaste for Justin and I. 
And then because I am going to be doing a lot of freezer cooking and things like that in the next few weeks, I stocked up on some freezer Ziploc bags. Now we normally use cloth napkins in our house on a daily basis, but I do like to have some paper napkins around just for if we have someone over or something like that. So I just picked up one small package of paper napkins. Moving on to cold and freezer items. Uh, the first thing I have here is just a large package of meatballs. I will use this for spaghetti and meatball night or spaghetti and meatball casserole. I picked up two boxes of these Van de Camp's fish sticks. This is just the brand that my kids prefer. So I will stash these down in our deep freezers to use as lunch a few times. And then one of my homeschool mama tricks is that I really like to keep a couple of of these pre-made freezer meals on hand for those nights when just things go astray and I am out of energy and time to cook dinner. These are a really great option to have just to cook up really quick instead of doing takeout or drive through In comparison to buying takeout or drive through these actually are a lot cheaper option for a family our size. So I picked up one large bag of their cheesy ranch chicken and then I they were out of the large bags, so they gave me two of these three cheese and chicken. Again, these are just pasta bakes that you can fry up in a skillet. They take about 10 minutes or so to make, and so just a really great easy meal that my kids all enjoy. I serve these alongside with just some other fruits and veggies and maybe some bread and butter. I went ahead and picked up two of these whipped cream cheeses. We use these with bagels once a week. And then I also just grabbed a two pack of cream cheese just to have for recipes and things like that. I actually ordered a couple of these ricotta cheeses, but they were out and so I was only able to get one. I use these in our spaghetti and meatball bakes and other pasta dishes and ricotta cheese actually stays good for several months especially if you grab the ones from the back of the shelf so this will be good until December so I really like to stock up on these and have these in my fridge at all times. I am planning on making some chicken and noodle soup. Honestly we really prefer these frozen noodles compared to the dried that you can get in the pantry aisles. I also ordered one huge five pound bag of shredded cheddar cheese and and then two pounds of their shredded mozzarella cheese. Again, we will use shredded cheese in all types of recipes, top it on all types of things. We never have enough cheese. While we're talking about cheese, I picked up three blocks of this Cabot extra sharp cheddar. This is actually probably one of my favorite cheeses out there, but I love to use this in soups or we will cut this up and serve it with crackers. Again, cheese is something that stays good for a really long time and you can also freeze it really easily. So I like to have a big stock of block and shredded cheese in my fridge and freezers at all times. Okay, so now moving into the baking section of the groceries here. I bought four cake mixes, two Butter Golden and two Devil's Food. I am not ashamed to say that we use cake mixes from time to time. My daughter Leah really likes to be able to bake a cake on her own, so this is an easy way for her to do that. So I like to have a good stock of these on hand all the time for her. I was out of almond extract. This is something I tend to put in chocolate cake a good bit, so I picked up another one of these. We were running low on vegetable oil, which I only use in baking recipes. I typically will use avocado or olive or coconut oil for other things, but there are some recipes that just do really well with vegetable oil. While I was at it, I went ahead and picked up another five pound bag of bread flour. I bake all of my own bread, so I really like to have a lot of flour on hand. I normally will buy flour from Costco, but our Costco currently does not sell bread flour, so I have to buy it at Walmart or another grocery store like that. I also picked up a bag of whole wheat flour for when I make my honey wheat bread. Again, our Costco isn't selling wheat flour in bulk right now, so I buy it at the normal grocery store. This bag of light brown sugar probably looks a little bit random in here. I had actually ordered dark brown sugar that I like to use in a couple of recipes, but they were out and they substituted light brown sugar and I just told them it was fine, we'll use it. I normally buy brown sugar in bulk from Costco, but I, I will take an extra couple of pounds. 
Again, for baking and for some of my soup recipes, I like to have evaporated and sweetened condensed milk on hand. So I picked up four cans of their evaporated milk. I did not want fat free. They gave this to me by mistake, but again, I will use it. And then two cans of their sweetened condensed milk. My kids really like this Skippy natural peanut butter. So I picked up two 40 ounce jars of that. And then in the back here, you can see I have four different boxes of cereal, a couple boxes of shredded wheat, a couple boxes of raisin bran. We like to mix the regular raisin bran with the crunchy raisin bran. Some regular Cheerios, those are for the babies who just like to eat those as snacks. And then two, it's kind of hard to tell how big these boxes are, but these are really giant boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. Moving on, I picked up some brown rice and some jasmine rice. Now, I know that you can buy this in bulk at Costco, but I honestly do not have a good storage system to store 20 or 25 pounds of rice at the moment. So I just wanted, you know, five or 10 pounds of each. I actually ordered these in the really large great value bags that were five pounds each but they were out so they kind of substituted a different brand and some smaller bags for me back here i have a large canister of old-fashioned oats i am planning on doing some homemade granola made with honey and old-fashioned oats so this will be great for that and then here we move on to taco supplies. We do taco nights, um, typically taco Tuesdays every week. And so I just picked up two packages of these fajita sized flour tortillas. These are the size tortillas we like to use with the kids because they're a little bit smaller. So we tend to have less waste that way. The kids can always go back and get more tacos if they want, but these are just kind of the nice size for toddlers. I picked up two boxes of their crunchy taco shells. And then I just personally really like the Taco Bell hot sauce, so I like to get this big bottle of it. I think it's $1.12 for this whole bottle of Taco Bell brand hot sauce. I'm hoping to make some enchiladas and make them into a freezer meal, so I picked up two of these red enchilada sauces. Moving on to pasta, I picked up four boxes of pasta. I had actually ordered two of rotini and two of penne, but they were only had one penne so they gave me three routini and one penne we normally will eat pasta about once a week it is just a crowd pleaser and you know really frugal way to feed a big family so i always like to have lots of dried pasta on hand i'm going to totally butcher the name of this i know everybody pronounces it a little bit different worcestershire sauce we use this for everything for marinades especially with beef and things like that i always like to have some of this on hand next just some panko breadcrumbs i use this in a lot of different recipes and sometimes topped on top of different casseroles I picked up four boxes of the long grain and wild rice from Uncle Ben's. I love to make this with my chicken and wild rice casserole, so I picked up supplies to be able to make a couple dinners of that. That also calls for an onion soup mix, so I picked up one box of that. If you have never tried Buffalo Wild Wings Asian Zing Sauce, oh my goodness, this is delicious. We like to eat this on chicken legs or on chicken wings. It is our absolute favorite, and this bottle will probably make two meals worth for us. I went ahead and just stocked up on some different salad dressings, just kind of the norms that we use here at home a lot. Um, this is a really big bottle of 24 ounces of ranch dressing and then I also picked up an Italian and a honey mustard sometimes I will use these for marinade or we'll use it on top of salads or just to dip different veggies in in the back you can see I have a ton of boxes of broth I bought four boxes of chicken broth and two boxes of beef broth like I said I'm getting ready to do soup week where I'm going to be doing seven different recipes of soup that I'm going to use to feed our family and to put in the freezer so I'm going to need lots of broth on hand for those all right so now we are moving on to all of these canned goods it's a lot but honestly there's just a few things that I bought several of I already showed you the enchilada sauce I picked up two of these two packs of canned chicken breast this is just a shortcut that I like to use on those nights when I need to throw together dinner really quickly it's it's just such a nice thing to have on hand when I need it. I will also sometimes use this just to make up a quick chicken salad for lunch or even for a dinner. I picked up a 
couple kink salmon. We like to use this for salmon patties for dinner. Again, another easy shortcut, super simple dinner. I picked up a couple of cans of Rotel. We like to use this in different soups and with Mexican dishes. I already had a good stock of green beans in the basement, but I just went ahead and picked up four more cans. When we eat green beans, we, we go through at least a couple of cans at a time. Plus my baby and toddler like to eat these as just a side dish on a regular basis. Next, I have all of the cream of something soups. I bought four of cream of celery, four cream of mushroom, and they only were able to give me two of the cream of chicken. Again, I use these in casseroles and in different things. I like to make this typically from scratch, but just in the season of life I'm in, I am totally okay having these on hand as a shortcut. I also just picked up two of these jars of cherries. We like to have these with ice cream and with drinks. Lastly, we just have chips galore. I picked up two bags of these cantina thins that are tortilla chips, two bags of ruffles chips. These are my husband's favorite. I picked up two bags of pretzel sticks. These are great for the kids to have as a snack. And then I picked up one bag of these Terra sea salt root vegetable chips that are my personal favorite. Behind the scenes, real life looks like when you do a grocery haul like this, <laughs> lots of bags on the floor. Lastly, over here on the counter, I have all of my groceries that I would just consider our normal weekly, bi-weekly groceries. So to start out, I just picked up an 18 pack of toilet paper, as well as three cartons of orange juice and three gallons of milk. One of the babies also drinks this Fairlife milk, so I went ahead and picked up one of those, as well as a large carton of whipping cream. I use this for all types of recipes, sauces, things like that. We, we use this several times a week. Also, just one of their large sour creams. I still have a little bit of sour cream left from our Costco haul from September, so this will hold us over for the month of October. I also just picked up some yogurt for the kids, as well as some of these little baby yogurts that I like to give to Ava. I normally drink black coffee, but sometimes in the afternoons, I like to put a splash of cream in my afternoon cup of coffee. So I picked up a pumpkin spice creamer as well as just a vanilla one. The teenager in my house also enjoys drinking coffee. He likes to put vanilla creamer in it. Leah has been requesting biscuits and gravy. So I picked this up to make that for breakfast one day this month, as well as I am planning on making some soups. So I picked up some Italian sausage for one of the soup recipes I'm going to make. Now, I also did a very large order of meat from ButcherBox that will be showing up in the next few days. And I also have a lot of meat already in our deep freezer storage. I normally buy applesauce pouches at Costco, but since I was doing a Walmart order, I just went ahead and picked up one package of the go-go squeezes for Ezra and Ava, my toddler and my baby. And then moving on to produce, we have one big bag of the cuties, a large bag of avocados. My little kids just like these chopped up, eaten plain, and then we also use those on taco nights. I grabbed a couple of red bell peppers, a couple of cucumbers and a bag of carrots just to give us some fresh veggies with lunches this week. Two bunches of bananas. Honestly, those will maybe last us two, three days. And then two bags of potatoes, one gold and one red. I'm hoping to make some roasted potatoes and maybe some more potato soup this week.
guys, well, that is it for the haul. As you can see, I got a lot of items for our pantry and for our freezer. I didn't really do a lot of household goods or paper products or anything like that. Every spring, right around tax return time, I tend to do another stock up trip similar to this where I focus more on those household goods, where I buy cleaning products, batteries, paper products, things like that. So I will definitely be looking forward to doing that probably in March. Now, because I did this order online, I don't have a printout receipt to show you all, but I can tell you that my total was just over, it was $302. And then of course I had my other order of the things that I had on the kitchen counter there that was above and beyond around $100. So I was really able to stick to that $300 budget. Now, that means we're going to have to be creative this month with the rest of our grocery budget and really try to shop smart and shop well. I will be filling in by going into Aldi probably once a week for the rest of the month. If you enjoy these types of videos, grocery hauls, I would encourage you to just take a second and give this video a thumbs up and like it below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. I post new videos every week about education, homemaking, and everyday life, but I tend to also post these grocery hauls at least once a month. So be sure to subscribe and stick around. Also, leave me a comment. Tell me if you have ever done a Stocktober or a stock up trip like this this, how much of your budget you dedicate to it, and, and how you make that work. I would love to hear about it. Okay guys, well I think that wraps things up for this week. I hope you guys are enjoying your October. See you later.